Hello everybody, I'm here from the Hammer Game Channel. Back to Kaiser, right? Where today we are starting a play as the little old Italian, like, who really isn't doing too well in uh, comparison to um, the other owners of Italy. Now we are going to be trying to um, reunite all of Italy under our reign, and we are going to have the national populace take control. And that is probably going to result in that civil bloody war with Venice as they declare their independence from us. So we will have to deal with that at some point. But anyways, let's get right into this. Now we are going national populist uh, because that is the ideology that um, the viewer or subscriber wanted to see. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. I would have given you... Well, I would have said it. But um, like always, I forget to actually check who's just, who wanted to see this. But anyways... This is our request to play through, so I'm doing it. So yeah, I'll just take them, excuse me. Guys, um, I'll just take this moment to say that, um, just, if there's a playthrough that I haven't done yet that you really want to see, just let me know, and I'll get Joy down and added to the list that I have. Um, we are making decent progress through, um, but there is still a lot uh, that I have, um, have to get through. So don't worry if um, you're still waiting on the series that you have requested because um, it will be coming soon, don't worry. I will get to it at some point. Right, so let's get into this. So this military contract is going to give us 2,000 units of uh, the Carcano M38. Which is going to be nice. Um, we are basically fully equipped, it's just manpower we're lacking. Um, yeah, Black Monday's just hit us though. Which is fantastic. Great. We will have to work on getting rid of that. <laughs> <coughs> well, Afghanistan's lost already. Uh, Bonomi calls for general elections. They will be held later next year. When do we get rid of the effects? Democracy restored in Australia. Where is... Does Ma Black Monday just... Does Ma Black Monday just... pass um, by itself for Italy? Uh, the current economic crisis has caused a lot of farmers to default on their loans and mortgages in the livestock and property are normally at uh, auction away to the highest bidder by local authorities. The practice is deeply unpopular among Italian farmers, but as proponents, proponents claim that debts must be repaid and that the action, auctions are a necessary evil in a free market economy. Yesterday, the Italian People's Party proposed a bill that would ban the auctions. What is the government's position on the issue? Pass a bill and ban the auctions. I don't want to lose the bully or something so insignificant. Oh my days, I forgot they do have forts. We will strike them only and only when Germany and the Entente are at war with the rest of the faction. Because we need their help and direct and some of the attention away. Because if we try and take on the Third International ourselves, we're asking to be, you know, Slapped about. Let's go ahead and grab radio. Okay, national populace is going up. Good. That is what we want. Now, I'm not 100% sure on how we actually go national populace, but I'm sure I will hopefully figure out. If not, I'll just have to restart, and you won't see this video. Alright, defense contracts is going to give us set four military factories, which is going to be great. Um considering we only have three. Um, what's our templates looking like? Not bad, actually. Oh, this is perfect. We just need to add one infantry in and we're sorted. Oh, this will just change all of our guys over to that template right now. We are lacking guns and artillery, but that's fine. Get rid of the help divisions. Get rid of you. Get rid of you and you. We'll keep the armor division. We might delve into um, tanks later on once we actually have um, more uh, factories because right now no way in hell we're going to be able to support producing tanks 
and keeping ourselves fully supplied on their tanks as well. Just a wee click the lance through. That's complete. Oh, superior firepower. Division attack is going to be plus 10, and artillery attack and defense is going to be up by 15%, and division recovery rate up by 5. That is very worthwhile going for. That is very good, actually. Um, but right now, I'm telling you, go ahead and grab new farms. As well as head down to support the auto industry, because that's four civic factories, which would be very, very helpful. I'm presuming Black Monday just resolves itself um, over time. Um, Gabriella Angelini's Soul Flight, that's going to give us local power. Let's see our military factories into, um, into that area of. Well, set our factories up like that. That's what I meant to say. Now, we could, we could try and evade Austria, we could. Now, um, that may be an absolutely stupid idea, but we will be, um, once we go National Populist, and if we go National Populist, we will be, I'm going the wrong way, that's right here, we will be destroying the Austrian influence. So we can't, we will do some point. Because um, we won't be able to get down here until we have. So it's probably best that we hit them as soon as, really. Because they only have 25 visions. We are only on volunteer only. That is good. <coughs> I was suspecting I was being a lot higher. Now, if we're going to take on Austria, I'm really hoping that Hungary is going to backstab them. Because then I'll divert a lot of um, units away. And if that fails, then Serbia declares war on the Austrians. Because that will also divert some forces away from us. And if we don't have that strong of uh, divisions, or they think that they are superior uh, to us, then um, they're likely just to push aggressively. And we'll just do a Serbia all over again. Although I don't really want to do that again, that was quite tedious. Yeah, we're not doing too well on um, production right now. I'm going to go ahead and stop actually training those guys. Right. This is also going to give us a more rise production cost, minus 10%, but we're not really going to benefit from that anytime soon. Really hope this is gonna start going away soon. <coughs> you know, let's get this person in shit too. Why is this movie down here? Oh damn. Bobby Larry's gonna go way down for some guys during this focus streak. That gets rid of Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure we get rid of it. Anyways, let's start working on some of the infantry stuff. Yep. Go ahead and get the um, modernized agriculture to get uh, new farms. Which is going to give us a nice wee 5% uh, uh, monthly population growth and uh, minus 5 supply consumption as well as a one times fifty percent research bonus for industry, which is also going to be handy. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Who actually? Oh, it's the monarchy that has the Austrian ties. We are having elections this year, so they must be coming up at some point. Mussolini's in charge, so we're going to be taking on Mussolini. Great, it means they're going to be incompetent as hell. Right, um, what we'll do is now, I think we'll work down this part of the tree now. So, we do want to get Estor. Let's go ahead and grab, yeah, superior firepower. 
When we have enough plug of power, we're gonna go to aerial mobilization, then partial mobilization. Um an earthquake, so something could be able to get damaged. Or nothing. <laughs> nothing was damaged in the earthquake. Quite shocked actually. Why have we got a minus Oh, it's the construction speed. It's fine. Alf Landon, elected president of USA. Since when the hell could he pop up? It's actually nice to see a proper picture of you, Alf. Didn't realize he was actually, um, you know, able to become president. I don't know if he's going to stick around or not, but um, I guess we'll see. The ANI, which is the National Populists. War support's gonna go way up. Ta-da! Right, now that allows us to start going down the ANI of power. Purge the Red Menace. Italian militarism. Recruit population factor of 10%. The Battle of Lyra. Mirabos is elite. Can't see it, so I don't know. Right, let's go ahead and grab a pair of machine tools. As well as get ready to go to early mobilization. Sorry. Now guys, um, I am going to be putting this Tuesday alongside um, the finale for the Soviet Union on Fiorite, but I just want to say Thank you very, very much for um, all the support recently. My channel's subscription, um, number of subscribers has like increased ridiculously over the last week. It's been fantastic. Went from under like having what, maybe about like 680, 690 to like 730. What's it on right now? Let me just... Yeah, we're on 732 now, which is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much. I, I don't know what to say. It's been it's been great. I I've actually been gobsmacked. But um, be, best probably the best um, run that I've had uh, for um, subscriber growth uh, since the channel started. So, thank you, thank you very much. Um, yeah, that, that's that's all I really can say. I don't want to take up. Too much of this video with me going, thank you very much. But um, I, I do appreciate it. When is Venice going to rise up against us? Because they are going to be a pain in our arse. Really just going to... It's our plans. I'm going to throw a spanner in the work. Oh yeah, I apologise for the amount of uh, nose blowing I'm doing. Can't help you guys, I'm sorry. How many divisions do all these guys have? I reckon we could take them if we'd act quickly. Poland must have put the... Yeah. The, um... The Saxon. Oh, yay! That's, that's helped us slightly recover. I am tempted to actually invade them. 28 divisions. They have 23... These guys have drips and drabs. Um, it might be worth it. Oh, Alf! Alf, 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 Alf. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is not good. He is sticking around by the looks of things. Simplify. What does that do? That just reminds me of. Um... Oh, yeah, he's consumer goods minus 3 then. Um, Simplify just reminds me of that map from Call of Duty World at War. Um, no, Simplify was the mission, was it not? Um, but the map online was like. Um, it was not like called Mackin. And then there was Mackin Day as well. 
I'm sure that's right. Because, um, oh, I don't know about you, uh, I don't know how many of you watching are actually like uh, massive co fans or were massive fans of COD back in the day. But World of War. That was so good. Now, um, okay. Green shirts. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't care. Change over. Um, when did World of War actually come? Let's actually have a wee look, because that's going to annoy me. Team. 2008. Seriously, I was only 8 years old and playing that. God, I must have been crap it. It's only 7 quid now in game. I'm not saying that, 7 quid. Um, damn. That's ridiculous. Let's actually have a look. What your 4s doing? 87%. That's not, that's not too bad going. Anyways, let's get back to the game. So 2008 World of War came out. Jesus. I got, I got in the COD early. I can remember playing uh, Call of Duty 1. I did enjoy playing that. Because the first mission, um, you're on um, a boat. You're a Russian. And you get off the boat and you get handed a rifle cartridge, but not a gun. And you just have to run up the hill and then pick up a rifle as you go along. Nah, but that was, that was oof, my love for God just took off from there. And um, I suppose all the way up to Black Ops 2. I played all the ones before Black Ops 2 and obviously Black Ops 2. And then I gave up and then it wasn't until Black Ops 3 that I went back to it. Just because I had faith in Treyarch for making good games. That's the only reason really. Hmm. Really? You donkeys. Alright, let's declare war then. Thank you. To Venice we shall go, my friends. Hopefully. Let her fly. Do you know what? Let her set up a school. That could be coming handy. Yeah, well, let her set up a school. I feel like that would be a very beneficial, um, beneficial impact to have. Just in case I do want to do some air research. Right, we're not doing that because that would just be um, very bloody stupid at this point. Let's go ahead and grab artillery. Effort. Right, we are short of guns. I'm hoping we can break through here eventually. What we'll do is we'll just get a massive amount of people pushing. Uh, Nationalist Birth Act. Oh, why do you have to go ahead and put consumer goods up by 5%? At least only really 2%, I suppose. Oh. Black Monday is actually gone. I'm gonna get two guys to stick back. Actually, they're gonna pin them in. Spain's in a civil war. Just gotta keep them occupied right now. Greece is joining the Belgrade. Come on, boys. How many divisions they got? 12. Right, come on. We've almost got this one. And we do. Right, great. We can get all our bloody resources back. And factories. Right. Let's actually, um... Are you actually any good? You're a war hero, but you still are pretty decent. Hello. And maybe someone better off, like you. He is a four, though. You know, he's actually not that bad. Right. Right, we still have 12 ships, good. Right. Okay, we are short of guns. 
<coughs> Mozambique Bush War. It's been a while since that has actually occurred. I think Germany must have always intervened. And the Baltic War always to occur now. Green or blue? The official colours of the Italian football team have been blue. Descended from the colours of the Kingdom of Italy. Now that we are in power, we have the ability to finally change the colours away from blue to green to better reflect the colours of Italy instead of the House of Savoy. However, this will likely upset a number of fans who like the colour blue. We shall switch colours. Right, what we're on now is let alone Serbia to get too big for their boots when they take out Bulgaria. How have the Romanians just walked in? You are so incompetent. So incompetent, Ferdinand. I'm very disappointed in you. Something we want to consider is actually having forts. There's the Argentine War, I guess. Um, okay, they can actually push in there. So. This may be stupid, man. I'm actually going to bin that and just focus on forts right now. And that's done. Um. Right, we can actually go down, we can grab some stuff. We can grab that. Construction speed plus 10%. Let's go ahead and grab that. It'll be beneficial for us. Okay, Alberto Dazara is still here. Yeah, we have to hit them early. Otherwise, it's not good. They will, they will be as painful to invade as ever. I mean, the issue is, we're going to watch out for these bloody snakes as well, because they might see that as an opportunity to attack us. Oh, the ball of Dutch is actually going to stick around. Shame that didn't happen in my German playthrough. And the Union of Burma has arrived. Oh, Burma, what went wrong? Right, they are going for Great Serbia, so... Just saying. They could be getting into the war very early. Let's go ahead and grab this, and then we'll see what they get out of it. Right, we are... Slowly but surely getting up. Basically, another 50 days, really. Ish. Just slightly over. Yeah, the United... Uh, Probably the chairs sticking around today. CNT looks like they're maybe going to win this. The buggers. Oh, the Russians. Okay. So, they went for a democratic republic, so we'll see what they get up to. <coughs> You know what I'm doing. I am going to be going after, going after the Austrians now, because they're going to be fighting Serbia as well. Because, well, they're going to be rejecting Montenegro. So, oopsie. How many days were you away? For two. So they're going to be at war for a week. They might be sending troops back over here. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get the upper hand and just swoop on it. No, here they come. Now, we should hopefully be okay. Canada's joined in against the combined syndicates of America, probably because of how well they're doing. Alf Landon's still in charge.
I just realized I may have just bloody jumped the gun. Because Serbia may not declare war on them. They may not. This is the one time that AI is like, you know what? A screw. Right, they are a little bit stronger, but. Well, I really am hoping. <coughs> Sorry. They were not really screwing this up here. We'll see what happens. Please. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. Yay, we declare war on them. That was a brilliant idea. I was really going to go to war. Well, at least we can get to uh, you, as you're going to have an extensive conscription and war economy. Can we actually beat them? Are you kidding me? Are mine actually stronger? Or is it just because they're a really low in organization? I that was because they were low in organization. I'm hoping we might be able to punch through here and quickly swoop in the Bozen as well, or Bozen, however you say it, and I don't know, it'll just cause some chaos. Now, we need Serbia probably to, um, well, to declare war on them as well. Um, don't know if that's really going to be um, going to happen though, that is the issue. And we need to end this before the other Italians think, oh, they're at war now. Let's go ahead and invade, invade them. Right, they're being aggressive over here. I was really hoping we we're going to be able to break through there, but we're not going to. Oh, that's a slight pain in the backside. Let's just chill. Let them do their thing. I hate how there's an odd number. I mean, just, I like even numbers. <coughs> mm, Korea's up rise. I mean, risen up against Japan. Oh boy. You guys to reinforce these ones now. Oh, thank hell for that. Right. <coughs> let's grab you. And let's kick their backside in. Come on. Seriously? Wow, our division suck balls. Yeah, just chill, just chill. Oh, that size of an army is not nice. Come on, Serbia. Probably wins one Greek referendum. Okay.
What are we doing equipment wise? We're, we're okay. We might be able to starve the Austrians actually. They haven't actually caught. Oh, they have. They have. Not very many hours. No manpower already. They sure as hell ain't gonna be able to change the conscription law either, though. Because you need to have uh, an army strength that's 60% more stronger than theirs. Like you're, the enemy you're uh, facing has to be significantly stronger. Um, let's go ahead for those military factories. And this could be pushable soon. Come on, Serbia. Come on, Alexander. I need you. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. And I'm trying to stick to... Um, 20 minutes to uh, half an hour. Oh my god, Gabriella did. He's died. He has literally just died. <laughs> Balbo's now here. Who's a dictator? Lovely. Anyways, guys, I am trying to stick to like 20, 20 minutes to 30 minute long videos. So we've got to that today. I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully, next episode, Serbia will do something and a bit will help me beat the Austrians before they can get any stronger. They're not going to be able to get any stronger, really. Hopefully. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye for now.